Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look, this look right here. I really wanted to do like just intense glitter today, so I pulled out an oldie but a goodie. Not so old, but it's definitely a goodie. The Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And that is what I use to get this glittery, glowy makeup look. Also, I just want to address the fact that yes, my voice, man. My voice is still a little bit under the weather, I guess. I am still getting over my whole flu bronchitis episode, and it's it's honestly, it's it's taking its damn time. I honestly feel fine, it's just that I'm congested and my voice is just like, mm, it's a pain to listen to. But regardless, I really hope you guys don't mind. I promise I will get better soon, it just, it just takes time. If you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below. And with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to be starting off with the face today just because I have this little pimpy right here. So I want to cover him up like ASAP. So I'm going to first off prime with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. I'm just going to use the Real Techniques Stippling Brush to kind of apply this to my face and blend it in. I don't know why, but lately I've just really been liking applying my primer with a brush. I feel like it's a lot easier and less messy so yeah for foundation today i have not used this baby in a hot minute but i used to be so obsessed with it this is the mark jacobs remarkable full cover foundation the shade that i'm using is number 27 bisque neutral so what i'm gonna do first of all is dot that onto my face and then i'm gonna go in with the sigma f60 foundation brush you know those old school foundation brushes and i'm pretty much going to spread that around my face kind of like in like a painting motion i suppose because this is a very full coverage foundation, a little goes a long way. And I just find with the consistency of this foundation, it's a lot easier to kind of spread it around the face. So you could use like a brush like this or an oval brush and it just gives a really nice finish. Next up, I'm just gonna hit up my dark under eye circles with the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. This one is actually a peachy tone, so it is a corrector. Just gonna take one swipe to each eye and then blend it in with the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. Onto concealer now, I'm gonna be mixing two of Tarte's Shape Tape Concealers together. I have here the shades Light Medium and Light Medium Honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and dot that underneath my eyes and also do a little bit of like highlighting with them down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, and on my chin. And then I will blend that all in with a dampened beauty blender. To set all of that in place, I'm just going in with the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. You guys know how much I love this stuff. I swear, every single video, I always use this. So I'm just using the Sigma F30 Tapered Highlighter Brush. Since I did put a little bit of the concealer on my lids, I'm just gonna go ahead and set that as well. And that can be my primer for my eyeshadow. But before we get on to doing the eyes, I'm gonna set the rest of my face. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. This one is in the shade Warm Beige, and I'm just using my large fluffy powder brush from Sigma. I've zoomed you guys in because I will be finishing off the rest of my face later, but for now, I wanna get started on the eyes. So this is what we're working with today. Oop, there we go, that's better. This is the Violet Voss Holy Grail eyeshadow palette, and I used to use this all the time and I was obsessed. Kind of put it down for a hot minute, but it's back. So you guys can obviously tell why I love it so much. So to start things off, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. There we go, transition. And the name of it is very fitting for exactly what we need it to do. So I'll be using that as my initial transitional crease shade. I'm just using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush and I'll be running this back and forth through my crease all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. Next up, I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here down the bottom, Brownie Points, and I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush 
What I'm going to do with this shade is basically apply it in my crease as well, just to further deepen up the eye. A little tip that I have for you guys when it comes to kind of deepening up the crease and making the look a little more intense is to start off gradually. So when you pick up the shade from the palette, really tap off the excess from your brush and then apply slowly and gradually because if you want to deepen it up, it's a lot easier to do than try and blend away color when you've added too much. I'm just going back in with the first brush that I used, whatever is left on the brush is fine and I'm just going to go ahead and blend through. So now that's looking all good, my favourite part is up next. So I have here one of the Stila Magnificent Metals, you guys haven't used these for so long. I feel like everything in this video is like something I haven't used for a long time and I'm getting really excited about it. But this one in particular is in the shade Bronzed Bell and I pretty much just want to paint this on my eye. I did swatch it on my hand, like let's just take a minute to appreciate that glitter and that glow, like oh my goodness. So basically what I'm gonna do with this is apply it to my lid. As you can see, I'm starting from the inner corner and then just kind of working it up as high as I want it to be in my crease. When you first apply this product, it does apply wet, so it gives like a really wet cooling sensation on your eye, but in no time it does dry and set in place. And once it's set, it will not move. So that's why I love this product so much is because there is no need for like any types of glitter glues or anything like that. It already has the setting agent within the product so you don't even have to worry about anything else just paint it on and you're good to go already that glitter is just like it's popping so I have kept like the outer corner of my eyes blank as you can tell because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be taking the shade teddy bear and I'm using the Zoeva 231 luxe petite crease brush and what I'm doing is just kind of applying that to the outer corner of my eye to kind of you know, you can look up a little and I'm blending it into that glitter so it doesn't look so intense of like a dramatic change on the outer corner of my eye. Going back into that brownie points shade, I'm just going to quickly kind of blend through the crease just a little bit more just so everything is all nice and smooth. So now that that top lid is all good to go, I'm going to get started on the bottom lash line. So first of all, I'll be going in with the transition shade and I'm just using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush and I'm going to go ahead and smoke that out along my bottom lash line. Next up, I'm just going to be going into that teddy bear shade and I'm using another pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30 and I'm also going to run that along my bottom lash line but I'm keeping it much closer to the lash line to help define that area a little more. For the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to be taking the shade up the top, Crystal, and I'm just using the Zoeva 238 Lux Precise Shader. It's a super tiny brush, which is perfect for getting right into the inner corner of my eye. For my waterline, I'm just using the Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. This one is in 213 in the nude. I decided to keep it like nude because I wanted to keep the eyes nice and big and bright and open and that's exactly what a nude liner is going to do for you. I'm not going to be using any liquid liner for this look but I am going to apply some lashes. So first of all I'm curling my lashes and then I'm giving them a quick coat top and bottom with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. For lashes today, I'm going to be using my trusty old Queen Bees by Coke Lashes. I haven't even like put these away and stored them properly. They're just chilling on my desk. But yeah, I'm going to be using these. And I'm using the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive, the black one, to apply them. My eyes are done now, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. Firstly, I'm going to go into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and take this shade right here to contour with. And I'm just using the Models Prefer contour brush. I'm going to go ahead and contour that jawline, my cheekbones, and also my nose. Those of you guys who watch me regularly would know that I prefer to use a different brush when it comes to contouring my nose. This one is from Look Good, Feel Better, and it's basically just an eye shading brush and I feel like this is really good when it comes to defining the nose. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face up. I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. You guys know how much I love this bronzer. And I'm just using a Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush to run that over my cheeks and around my hairline. For blush, I'm gonna go into the Morphe 9N Blush Palette. And I think I wanna take there it is, this shade right here. I swear I'm still getting used to the lighting with this whole new like setup. But yes, I'm gonna be taking this shade right here. I'm using another Sigma F40 large angled contour. I'm just going ahead and applying that to the apples of my cheeks and then dragging that towards my hairline. For highlighter, I'm just gonna be going into this baby right here. This is the Violet Boss 
Pro Highlighter Trio. And I think I want to take like a mixture of Moon Gleam. Yes, Moon Gleam and Star Gleam. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to all the areas on my face that I like to highlight. And I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 Highlighter Brush. For my lips, of course, I am going to keep things nude. So I'm firstly going in with the Chi Chi Stay All Day Lip Liner. This one is in the shade Centerfold. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. And then I'm just going in with the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Sand. Since this liquid lipstick is super intense in color and very opaque, I'm going to firstly apply it to the center of my lips and then kind of blend it in with my finger. Now, if you guys know me, you know that I love a good nude lip, but I like to keep it pretty glossy. So over the top, I'm going in with the Rimmel London Lip Lacquer. This one is in the shade Nude Eclipse. And yeah, just going to make my lips look nice and pouty with this pretty nude gloss. Alrighty guys, this is the completed look. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. I'm absolutely obsessed. You guys, you know that I'm into my glitter and the fact that I could incorporate that with all these beautiful warm tones is just... It's everything. As always, I will list everything that I used throughout the video down in the description box below, where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, all that good stuff is down below. Don't forget that if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're still here at the end watching and you're not subscribed to my channel yet. You may as well subscribe by hitting the little red button below. And with that being said, I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowing.